They say with anything, your first impression is crucial. Will you like what you see? Will you want to go back for more? Or do you think you should push it to the side in favor of other things? Well, that's what this series is all about, as I spend one hour each week to a special game to see if it's worth returning to. This, my friends, is our impressions. I don't know why the past two impressions have been glorifying mobile games, but I can't stop now. The trailer for Shredder's Revenge had come out, and I have never been more hyped. The amazing intro, and what looks to be the successor of Turtles in Time, that fans have been hoping for. So, to celebrate, I looked up TMNT games to play on the PC, and quickly realized that was a horrible idea. Released early 2016, with the PC port one year later, Portal Power is another game for the Viacom Turtle series, and while that series spawned other games, including one of my personal favorite mobile games, Portal Power always looked... off to me. I mean, at least it's Portal Box on mobile, so sure... yikes, that's an increase. Okay, so maybe the game's worth the extra cost, it's not. Let's go over the story real quick first. Shredder plans on using Krang technology to beam his cronies to other dimensions. When Baxter accidentally drops a portal device, the turtles set off to stop Shredder. Very basic, not much to talk about, except I'm surprised the show's cast returned for this game. Usually mobile games mute their characters, but here, everyone is reprised from the show, and does a great job. So kudos to Portal Power on that front. The rest of the presentation... I'm not as forgiving. The models are just okay, except when standing still, and the 3D foreground makes the 2D background stand out like a sore thumb. For mobile standards, I guess it's fine, but for a PC port that's graphically enhanced, it doesn't exactly blend well. Perhaps gameplay could have saved it, but... <sighs> well, get ready. You move a turtle with WSAD, attack with the control button, strong attack with the F key, dodge with the space key, the arrow keys for special movement charged up, holding shift controls all four turtles at once, and the enter button for a screen nuke. Yes, that is as complex as it sounds. Everything on the phone is done through touch, so I assumed you would just use the mouse. But no, it's all laid out on the keyboard, and it felt awkward the entire hour I played. Combine that with the countless enemies later levels love to throw at you, you have a weird combination of a dull and frustrating time. All you do is beat the waves of enemies in each section, move to the next, and repeat until the level ends. As far as I could tell, no extra modes were available, so what you see is apparently what you get. Granted, there is the incentive of costumes, a lot of them, one granted in each designated level. Besides a cosmetic change, it changes your ability, and some grant access to a challenge level if equipped. Sadly, I don't think the costumes save this game. And yes, I am fully aware this mobile game is most likely targeted towards children, but I'm a gamer. I gotta look at this. What the heck am I doing with this? You also have pizza that gives you temporary stat boosts, standard stuff, then... Turtle power. Once you reach a combo of 50, you activate a screen nuke, but one hit, and you lose the power. This hit can be on any turtle, and it's extremely frustrating losing what could be a time-saving move for something you couldn't control in an arduously long battle. I kept asking, when will the level end? Which, for an action game, is the worst thing you can ask. Apparently the game takes 4 hours to finish. I only finished 25% of the game, and I felt completely drained. Even if you're a TMNT fan, I don't think I could recommend Portal Power on PC. With a mediocre presentation, save for the voice acting, dragged out gameplay, and mechanics that tire out fast, there are plenty of other choices out there that are worth your time. And if you're one for the completionist, well, you have a ton of achievements, and I'm not sure if even that would be worth it. Perhaps this game should stay in the portal it came out from. Thank you so much for watching this hour impression of TMNT Portal Power. If you liked that video and you want to see more, 
well, you know what to do. Thank you so much for watching. Please stay safe, take care, and I'll catch you later.